In the earlier video we have gone through different green hydrogen production processes. In this video we will explain about each process in detail. Introduction Alkaline water electrolysis it is well established mature technology for industrial hydrogen production. The alkaline water electrolysis phenomenon was first introduced by Trostwijk and Diemen in the year 1789. After several developments in the year of 1939, the first industrial large-scale alkaline water electrolyzer plant with a capacity of 10,000 normal cubic meter per hour of hydrogen production went into operation. The alkaline water electrolyzer operates at lower temperatures 30 to 80 degrees Celsius with a concentrated alkaline solution. Moreover, an alkaline water electrolyzer nickel-coated stainless steel electrodes and asbestos or zirconium oxide-based diaphragms are used as a separator. The alkaline water electrolysis is a favorable system designed for large-scale applications. Process, alkaline water electrolysis is an electrochemical water splitting techniques in the presence of electricity. The electrochemical water splitting consists of two individual half-cell reactions such as hydrogen evolution reaction, HER, at the cathode and oxygen evolution reaction, OER, at the anode. During the alkaline electrolysis process, Initially at the cathode side two moles of alkaline solution are reduced to produce one mole of hydrogen, H2, and two moles of hydroxyl ions, O-. The produced H2 can be eliminated from the cathodic surface and the remaining hydroxyl ions are transferred under the influence of electric circuit between anode and cathode through the porous separator to the anode side. At the anode, the hydroxyl ions, O-, are discharged to produce the half molecule of oxygen, O2, and one molecule of water, H2O. Advantages Well established technology, commercialized for industrial applications, noble metal free electrocatalysts, relatively low cost, long term stability. Improvements needed in this technology are the thickness of the diaphragms can be reduced with lower resistance, this can improve the cell efficiency and reduce the electricity consumption. The current density at an electrode is simply the current divided by the electrode's area in contact with the electrolyte. The lower current density is one of the major barriers to alkaline water electrolysis, this can be achieved by using the thinner diaphragms with high specific surface area electrode materials. Typically alkaline water electrolysis takes place on the high concentrated, 5M, potassium hydroxide electrolyte and high thickness diaphragms with nickel-based electrodes. During the electrochemical reaction, this can allow the intermixing of the generated gases, which are dissolved into the electrolyte subsequently producing the low purity of the gases. To reduce this crossover of the gases can be achieved by reducing the thickness of the diaphragms. Anion exchange membrane AEM, process, the EAM water electrolysis technology is similar to conventional alkaline water electrolysis however, the main difference between alkaline and in water electrolysis is the replacement of the conventional diaphragms, asbestos, with an anion exchange membrane, quaternary ammonium ion exchange membranes, in alkaline. Advantages, cost-effective transition metal catalysts being used instead of noble metal catalysts, distilled water slash low concentrated alkaline solution can be used as electrolyte instead of high concentrated despite that the major challenges are limited stability and high hydrogen production cost. Membrane durability is one of the major challenges to scaling up this technology, the present membrane's durability is around 30,000 hour only due to the polymer degradation from the membrane backbone chain, chemically unstable. Therefore, considerable improvements slash innovations are required to increase the durability and overcome the polymer degradation this can be achieved by increasing the chemical, mechanical and thermal stability of the membranes along with increasing the ionic conductivity using high conducting polymer compositions. Thanks for watching.